and I am excited guys I am excited oh I am so superly excited I did not realize that my grover tree had grovers which were actually ready now after Hurricane Maria that is when the grover tree miraculously started to flower and I was so happy it was such a good good thing to see that even after Hurricane Maria passed and so much destruction happened that the guava tree was able to survive it was resilient and the guava tree flowered and I am so proud right now of this moment this is not only one guava tree this is such a wonderful thing I will show you I have two guava trees basically growing like that two different guava trees growing next to each other if you remember I did a video where I transplanted a guava tree in the backyard garden and one actually started growing close to so I say you know what I'm just gonna leave it and it turned out they are sort of the same type of guava but one is longer and have more of a rougher skin this one is smoother so I'm in the backyard garden I came out of work and I'm in the backyard garden and I'm thinking to myself I'm taking a scent of guava but I, I, I'm like where is that scent coming out so instant kicked in I was like oh yes my guava tree have guava by now they must be right because I must tell you I'm working very very much six to six right now I don't get time to come in the backyard garden only at night and even on Saturdays I'm so busy so the only time I really get in the, to get only time I get to spend time in the backyard garden it's on Sundays and this is already another busy day right now it's so busy for me but I'm so happy to present this to you. I am, you might have, you can hear it from my tone, how excited I am. This is my first guava from the backyard garden. As you can see, we've got more right here. I've got three of them. So I'm just gonna take a bite right now of this awesome, awesome fruit. Oh, this is a proud moment. Let's see. It is supposed to be red or pink inside, okay? Ironically, when I bought this guava plant, they told me it's a dwarf. And I must say it's very tall. It's very tall right now. So I'm not quite sure if it's actually a dwarf. Nonetheless, it has produced and this is a joyous moment. Let's see. Ooh! Mm, 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 mm. Grow what you eat, guys. Eat what you grow. The oh, oh! Okay, here's what I just realized. This is my first rubber since Hurricane Maria. And it came from my backyard garden. I grew it. This is why I keep telling you, you need to practice backyard garden. This is why you need to practice growing your own food. Because imagine this, I have to wait till it comes on the market, till someone sells it for me to eat a guava. But I'm now enjoying a guava fruit straight from my backyard garden. Straight from my backyard garden, guys. I've got two more to spare. Of course, my sister will get one and my granny will get one. So this is also, and it is so sweet. Mm. Look at that! It is so awesome! I'm telling you, sorry to come at you like that with this video, but I was not expecting this and I'm so excited. Guys, I'd like to encourage you, of course, try your best to grow your guava tree in your backyard garden. Of course, your guava tree needs a lot of space. Although this is a dwarf tree, I planted it close to my source up and close to my um, cambola tree. So it's basically in the middle. However, it actually grew out taller than I expected. So it's kind of in the other plants are growing into each other right now, but that's okay. But matters is that I take care of it at the base. I ensure that I give it food. When I say food, I mean scrap food peeling. Ensure that you give your fruit trees a lot of scrap peeling. Lettuce leaves, banana leaves, peeling banana, anything to do with that. Skin of fruits and vegetables, ensure that you give it to your plants. Put it at the base, cover the soil, put it at the base, just keep adding. You've got to ensure you feed it. Of course, mine is growing in sandy, sandy, sandy loamy soil. Nonetheless, it is doing pretty well. I'm more, I must admit, I was struggling to ensure that it remained moist. That was one of my problems. Maybe that's why the guava tree grew so big before it actually produced because it was dry, not quick. Because the guava tree demanded a lot of water, but the soil where it's planted is very sandy, so the water drained out very quick or it evaporated very quick. So I had to add a lot of leaves to it. And here's the day today where I can actually be so very happy that I can enjoy. A guava fruit straight from my backyard garden of course guys i like to encourage you remember the backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away and i go sway this out no heartbreaking fairy tale love it's a love that is pure indeed 
perfect and dependable is the love that you have for me. And all I ever try, Lord, is to do the same. I want to love you with a deep love, so I praise and bless your name. No heartbreaking fairy tale love, it's the love that is so divine. Lord, you're perfect and dependable, and I can go on you anytime. And all I ever try, Lord, is to do the same. I want to love you with that deep love, so I praise and bless your name. Cause there's no distance between us. You're always there when I pray. Gave us your son. 